So now in this video, we're going to take a look at a red, green, blue LED. They have four leads, as you can see here. This one's the longest one. I have that position there. And this is the common pin, or common lead. And what that means is that we have three LEDs in here. A red one, a green one, and a blue one. And so... They all share one pin though. So in this case, it's the cathode. The cathode is right there for all three LEDs. The rest are anodes. The cathode in this case is the longest pin. Now, sometimes that longest pin is the anode and the other three pins are the cathode. But in this case, the long pin's the cathode and then the three other pins are the anodes for the three different colored LEDs. So now we're going to take a look at the LED with the multimeter. We're going to set it to measure diodes. And so we set it there and then select for diode testing. And now we grab the probes. As I said, the second one to the right is the cathode. So we're going to put the uh, black test probe there. And then the red probe there. Now you see we get a red light coming from the LED. And you see it has a voltage drop, a forward voltage of 1.8 volts. That's common for red LEDs. Now let's swap these. And uh, second right terminal again. We'll put the uh, black test probe. The red one will go to the other pin right next to it. And you see we get a green LED light up. And then we'll go to the farthest one and a blue one. Let's go back to green. You notice the voltage on the green, it says 2.3 volts. Green LEDs typically have a higher forward voltage than red LEDs. And blue LEDs have an even higher forward voltage. And you can see that right here with the multimeter when we test the diodes. So now, I got the... Uh, red green blue LEDs from this kit 16 Hertz kit it looks like there's a lot better kits out there but this was the one I got a while ago and you can see we got it labeled here what LEDs are in there because they're all just clear but they're uh, different colors so in this box we have the five millimeter red green blue and then this CC stands for common cathode if it was listed CA that would be common anode now this kit does have resistors, a bunch of resistors, I think one for every single LED, and it came with the coin battery, so it had those perks, but otherwise, other kits I looked at look a lot better. So now, I turn the power supply on, so we have 5 volts at the rail, power supply is set for 5 volts, all these other components are from another video, I haven't put them away yet, but in uh, any case, I'm going to take one of the 220 ohm resistors that was provided by the kit, attach there. You can see we got red, the common cathode is already connected to ground, and now I'll uh, connect the resistor from positive to that pin, and you see we got green, and here we got blue. And the LED is really bright, it wouldn't be as bright with a higher value resistor so that's how you adjust the brightness and also now we're gonna put the resistor to turn the red LED on and now the uh, green LED and actually it's hard to tell but uh, both red and green are on but the green was by far more powering and so let's try removing this one you'll see it changed a bit and the colors don't seem to be showing up as well on camera now I'll do the green and blue so both green and blue are lit now just blue is lit so you can see the color changes I don't know how well it will show up when we process but that's how you get multiple different colors with uh, red green and blue you can make any color except for black depending on how much current is going through the different colored LEDs in this component. 
So now to wrap this up, I turned all three LEDs on and you'll probably notice blue seems to be the most powerful of the three and so you might want to use higher resistance on that blue LED to tone that down and see if the colors blend better. But in any case, the uh, outside of the LED here is clear and so it's just letting the light straight through and using this card you can see that the light from the individual LEDs don't really blend together too well. They, they separate fairly well until I move the card closer to the LED. And so, as I said, this one's clear. A lot of them are diffused. That means they're frosted on the outside. And I see a lot of people give a tip to rough up the outside with sandpaper to, to give it that frosted effect. But uh, in any case, this kit only has these clear ones. I don't know if I have any diffused ones, so I'll, I'll have to try to find one and compare it with this one. But just be aware of that. These clear ones, the light doesn't really combine too well. 